All right, well, hello there. It is about 11 o'clock on October 10th, 1010. <laughs> and uh, uh, so my one live sale today, yep, we've wrapped that up. Um, thank you everyone who came and uh, hung out with me. It was a lot of fun this morning with the sale. And you wouldn't know it, but Joe was sitting next to me the whole time. He just, he was just happy just to sit, lay down, hang out. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, but you wouldn't even know it. He was, um, extremely well behaved, but, um, I guess he just didn't, didn't want to make an appearance on YouTube today. Uh, but, uh, for the morning sale, I brought some jewelry. I brought some ties. Um, oh, where is my sheet? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Got to get organized here. Um, so I brought uh, 57 items to the sale. And um, let's see, I sold, oh, I forgot to write down the number, uh, 34. Let me grab my pen. So I sold 34 of 57 items, which means there are 23 items still available. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the 23 items that are still available. I'm going to turn the camera around. And uh, let's go ahead and start with the jewelry. Uh, so I have this ring right here. It is a clear rhinestone R. Ooh, come on, focus. Oh, you did it. Okay, this is a size seven and a half. And it was just $1, $1, size seven and a half. And then I had this silver tone ring. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. This one has four clear rhinestones on it. And it is a size eight. And that one was just $1. Uh, then I had, let's see this one. This is a gold tone with red rhinestones. Come on, focus. What else are you focusing on? There we go. Uh, this one is a size six and a half and it was two dollars. No, it was three dollars. Excuse me. Three dollars for this one. Size six and a half gold tone. And then this one, it is a small size. It is a size five. It has a, it's gold tone, it has a faux turquoise, and then it has this really pretty little flower that sits on top. Size five on this one, and it is $3. Let's see, so that is all the rings. Uh, then I have this pair of rose gold earrings. Um, they are a hinge back. They have clear and blue uh, rhinestones. And they were $3. And then I had a couple of um, these kind of Southwest looking ones with the, this one has feathers, faux turquoise beads. Uh, this is $4. And then this one with um, the round kind of medallion looking faux turquoise. And those are $4. And then I brought two of the black resin um, silver tone rose. So this is a a black uh, resin rose. Ooh, that is a hard. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Uh, this one is a size seven and a quarter. This one is a size eight and a half. Oh, you can't see that. Eight and a half on this one. And uh, so they are four dollars each. They are a large ring. Um, all right, so that is all the jewelry that is still available. Uh, then some of the ties. So this one, oops, let me flip my sheet back over so I can follow my cheat notes. This one's name is Kimmy. It is a Siamese cat named Kimmy. That one was $1. Uh, $2 for Dotson, the black, I think that was a black panther. Uh, no ear tag on Dotson. Uh, he was $2. Timber the wolf, no ear tag. He was $2. The seal, this is this one does have its tag. 
So he is a l iceberg, the leopard seal from Antarctica, and he's two dollars. And then we have the rhino named Spike. He does have his ear tag. So there is the rhino named Spike, and he is $2. Uh, the seahorse. Seahorse's name is Neptune, and he is $3. And the dog named uh, Butch, he is $3. Then we have Coconut the monkey, $5. Um... Why did I just forget his name? Cinder. Cinder the dragon is $5. Uh, Harmony the unicorn, $5. Uh, Buzz, Buzzby the bee, $5. And then for the larger ones, this one is Misty the sea otter. That is $8. Uh, the unicorn. Twigs. Oh, Twigs the giraffe. Twigs the giraffe is $10, and Daffodil the lamb is $10. And they are the bigger, the bigger booze. All right, so those are the 25 items that are still available from the sale. So let's talk about the items that sold. Um, I, I will be right back and we'll talk about the items that sold. All right, I am back. So let's take a look at the jewelry that sold, uh, the rings, lots of silver tone rings, one gold tone ring, and this one really pretty enamel. Uh, earrings, we had cats, owls, and uh, pink, and then this one really fun glitter, and the ties that sold. We've got penguins and pandas, sequins, tigers, more penguins and pandas and bears, uh, the camel, flamingo, owl, lion, platypus. We had the smaller, well, the regular size Owen, the owl, and the larger Owen, the owl, the penguin, uh, the bobcat. There's Joe. <laughs> Uh, the pair of poodles, they are really awesome. The dog with the heart, the panda, and the zebra. All right, so that is a quick wrap up of that sold. I also made um, some sales from yesterday, today. So let's take a look at those items also. Let me... All right, so this beautiful gal with the lovely head basket she sold the gondolier and the hawaiian so both of them sold so thank you very much <coughs> so my plan for the day i have um yeah i have a lot of computer work to get caught up on because of yesterday taking some time out and going um thrifting so if you watched my vlog today on Tuesday, you saw that on Monday I went out and I uh, did a little shop with me at the Goodwill. Um, I also stopped at a smaller um, thrift store and grabbed some items. I've got everything here and kind of my plan for today is, yep, getting the table cleared off because I have to get ready for my two sales tomorrow and uh, so once I get that cleared off organized upstairs uh, I'm going to work on my computer work get that all done and then for the most part I'm going to be just upstairs packing and invoicing um, my plan is that kind of every time I come down if I grab the cat some food if I grab me some food if I bring a package down to go to the mail I'm going to grab a few items unpack them get them on the counter here, and then I'll be able to do a haul later today um, because uh, there's a good chance I'm going to need some of those items for the sale tomorrow. 
Uh, so we'll see how I do um, with that. But that is the plan for the day. I'm getting ready for the uh, mail carrier. I have um, some stuff upstairs I've got to bring down to get ready um, to go out. So it is going to be a busy day, a productive day. And, and yeah, so thank you guys for all of the sales keeping me busy. And keeping me able to go out and thrift and grab more things and stay here and pack and, you know, yeah, just just make making some good out of my time. So I appreciate that so much. All right. Well, I am going to get to work and I will be checking back in with you later, probably with a postage update. All right. Well, it is almost noon and I have the uh, mail in front of the door here, ready to go anytime the mail carrier gets here. Uh, so let's take a look at the pack. Um, I've got some big ones going out today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight large packages going out today. So far, um, I will keep monitoring my uh, keep monitoring my mail and uh, see if any more um, uh, payments come in. But that is where we're at right now. Uh, that should do uh, pretty good in filling up the back of the mail carrier's truck. Um, I am uh, now still working on um, the table, still working on my computer work. And um, I'll probably give, I might give another update um, at, with the progress that I'm making and um, uh, getting set up for the haul and getting set up for um, the sale tomorrow. Yeah. So um, I'll check back in with you. All right. Well, it is about 7.15. Um, I just got done <laughs> with some dinner. The cats have had their dinner and I've got um, everything unpacked, unwrapped uh, to do a haul video. So I will let you know with the items, uh, which ones I picked up at Goodwill and which ones I picked up at the, at the, I don't know, what should I call it? The thrift store? <laughs> It's, it's a local thrift store. Uh, so I'll let you know where I got, um, where I got the items and, um, yeah. So let me, um, I'm going to tilt this down. Let's see. Let's go up a little bit and tilt it down. There we go. Um, well, since I got this right here, let's go ahead and start with this. So this is an awesome cream and sugar set. Now the, is it the sugar? Yeah. Little bit of paint loss on the nose. I didn't think that was enough to um, forego this really, really awesome set. Um, who is it by? Kitchen Creation. So yeah, really liked them. Uh, there's no slot for the spoon on that one, but uh, but yeah, that is really a cool piece. And then what else have we got? We got this right here. Uh, oh, those were from Goodwill. This was from Goodwill. A little jewelry box. This is not stained glass. It's just the the thing that's, you know, just um, laid on the top of it. So you gotta, gotta kind of wash, wash it very carefully, but a nice little jewelry box. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. So I picked up these from the thrift store. Now there's one little problem with them, but look at that, they are ornaments. They're patriotic ornaments, and they're Hershey. Ah, how fun is that? And she's like kind of Betsy Ross. She's like sewing the flag. She's missing a foot. Um, I didn't think that was enough of a deal breaker 
because these are pretty awesome being from Hershey and being patriotic. Yeah, I thought that was great. Okay, uh, also from the thrift store, I got three of these um, basically new old stock from Kmart. How cool is that? Trim a tree. I like this Victorian style. So there's this one, this one, and this one. So I thought those were pretty awesome. I really like, um, like that style. So I grabbed that. Uh, so the next item I got, uh, this was from Goodwill. I couldn't resist this. I think we are going to have a lot of fun with this on Friday night. Uh, so on Friday night, it is a picture tells a story. And I thought this is going to be great. Um, and give me one sec. I know I'm building the suspense. Uh, this is a book that came out in 1988. And it is, which you're probably not going to be able to see because it's backwards. But it says, how to dress like a French woman. French chic. And it's all fashions from the 80s. How fun is that going to be to go through that book? Yep. It's the 80s and it's France. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, then this one I thought was really interesting. I know that there's a lot of doll collectors out there. And so this is called Petite Portraits. And it is kind of all about dolls. But again, I thought this would be a lot of fun to go through on the Friday night sale. Uh, then I have this bag full of stamps, crafting stamps. Uh, but there's a lot of fun sayings here. Thinking of you, thank you, good luck, thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, I thought that was a really nice variety. Um, I got some other stamps also, um, alphabets. So this one, it, they're not quite put back the way that they could be, but um, letters of the alphabet on these long uh, pieces. And if you didn't want to use them for stamping, those are great for crafting. Okay, another alphabet set right here really fun font on those and it's called tiny cabaret letters and then there's this little set which i realize my yeah my light is cast in a shadow there let me try try splitting the difference here there we go i thought those were really fun letters also um, okay, so then let's see, where do we go? Let's go over here. Ooh, uh, this is Department 56 for the village, um, white picket fence with gate. Uh, not only was it a white picket fence, um, oh, um, let's see, the stamps, the books I got at Goodwill. Um, this I got at Goodwill. No. Yes, I got this at Goodwill also. Um, but what I really liked about this is look at that. We've got a little squirrel and a little bird. There's the gate. Um, yeah, so love Department 56 stuff. And it's a nice scale that works with a lot of, a lot of things. So I thought that was great. Um, this is another Goodwill piece, this nice Amberina. Yeah, I was really surprised <laughs> when I found that and went, oh, well, I can get that. So that was really good. Um, then I found this Tuesday's Child. This is also from Goodwill. Okay, her wings, 
her wings are good, but she does have a little loss with the gold. So right here, she should have a full leaf. And on here, it is a little chipped. And then on top, her gold leaf is also chipped. But you know what? These are getting so hard to find. She's a leftin. I thought, you know what? She is in pretty darn good shape. I'm going to grab her for the Tuesday's Child. Um, this I picked up at the thrift store. Look at that. A little hanging um, clothespin bag. Those are always fun. Even if you don't use them, um, they're really fun as a, as a laundry room accessory. Um, I picked up some plush also. Uh, this one was from the thrift store. The little teddy bear. And he is um, FAO Schwartz. Does say Nathan on there, but FAO Schwartz little bear. That is too good to pass up. Um, and then from Goodwill, I picked up a little gunned snowman. He is super cute. And a Starbucks bear that is dressed as a snowman, including this little carrot <laughs> that is trying to be tied on to his nose. But yeah, that is a Starbucks bear. How cute is that? Um, okay, then couldn't resist this. So put this on a crib and pull the string and then the music box plays. So it works great. Um, this is also in really, really good condition. Super soft. And it is by Jelly Cat London. So really nice. Um, so the music box is right up in there. Um, okay. Uh, there was a kind of grab bag that I got at the Goodwill that had this. Yep. She is, um, I don't know, a fairy mermaid. I'm not even sure she has wings and it says, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. And down here, it says that is a quote from Oscar Wilde. But isn't she awesome? Love it. And then in that little bag was um, this. It looks like it went on something attached right there. But three beautiful crosses. Um, also in that bag were these little stamps, little terracotta. So we've got a candy cane, a leaf, and this says Rycraft on it. And then there's this one, which is kind of a tree of life design. So again, these are great for crafters. And then this one, ooh, what does that one say? That one's fancy. Um, it said, oh, Buckingham Galleries Fine Porcelain Japan is what this one says right there. And it looks like, oh, it's a fireplace with stockings. That is so cute. Um, then there was some fruit now, unfortunately, or vegetables, I guess. Unfortunately, this one, I think it took a bit of a tumble and it might have an internal crack and one of the leaves fell off. Uh, but then there is a pepper, which looks like it's in really good condition and a carrot. I don't know how that one stayed in great condition, but that these are really neat. And then there were some pandas. Um, I don't know what these are made out of. I don't think they're glass. I think the black part is plastic. 
So maybe they're plastic, but they're all in different poses. So there's that panda, this one, <laughs> this one, he's kind of, I don't know, waving high. We've got, oh, this one's a little girl, maybe. Oh, she looks like she's in a little dress. And then there's this one. <laughs> so those were just silly, but oops. Okay, that my phone just turned off. But sometimes that's the fun of those little grab uh, bags is just the fun miscellaneous stuff in there. Uh, there was also this which is a little like uh, picture holder that is a bear nurse. Uh, it looks like it's made out of clay. And this one that says, Our New Home 2020. Well, I'd say something happened. <laughs> and they got rid of that ornament. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, what else did I get? Okay, this I got from the thrift store, and it is a stone donkey. That was really pretty. And, um, oh, this I got at the, th at the thrift store also. Uh, not lucite candles, darn it, but, um, gold, what does it say? Gold leaf. Petite birthday candles, 18 count. Um, I think maybe only one was taken out of here. But aren't these pretty? So gold leaf candles. So really nice and different and a really pretty box. Okay, this is something from Goodwill. It is a set of three of these, um, like, probably ashtrays, but they're kind of butterfly-shaped. I don't know if they say Japan, but I would be very surprised if these weren't Japan. But now they are these really pretty little trinket dishes, again, in kind of that butterfly shape and... I have three of them and they stack together nicely. Okay, this is also from the thrift store, this little bird figurine. Um, I really liked him. He is right about the same size as the glass figurines, uh, but no marking on him. So not sure who made him. Uh, let's see, oh, these are really pretty. So let's go through these. Um, I'll start with this lovely one. Uh, no marking on it. So I don't know who made it, but that is a beautiful pink rose bowl with gold trim. Uh, this one is also a pink rose bowl with a little more gold trim on it. Um, not marked on that one. And then this one, a lovely cream soup bowl and under plate. How fancy is that for your cream soup? Um, this is a cobalt blue and gold pattern. And it is um, Johann Haviland, Bavaria, Germany. So really nice, but isn't that pattern just gorgeous? Love that. Okay, put that there very carefully. Um, a couple things for Christmas, because yeah, it's time to start looking at some Christmas stuff. Look how pretty that is. This is chalkware. It does have a couple of little flea bites on the edge, but oh, isn't she adorable? But for the most part, it's really in good shape. And it does say Merry Christmas, what, 77? No. Merry Christmas. Maybe it says Mia. And I think it says Stacy on the bottom. Well, I'll do a little more investigating. But, oh, that is so pretty. And then 
I found naughty, but I did not find nice. So maybe somebody who was nice kept the nice and got rid of the naughty. Uh, but that is a Ray Dunn piece. <laughs> All right. Then let's see what have I got. Oh, I've got this beautiful candle holder. Look how pretty that is. All the colors. We've got red, pink amber and green and then you put a little tea light right in there and the back is the same color combination on a metal stand okay and then i found another one of the german orchid pots that i love love these they are made so well the glaze is so nice on these and this is kind of an off-white here's my white top you can see it's just a little off-white but that's going to clean up really nice and i love these tall ones because they've got such a great mid-century modern line to them um i found a puzzle oh um i've been forgetting the bowls, um, the cream bowl set, that's all from Goodwill. Um, both of the Christmas items, Goodwill, the candle holder, Goodwill, the orchid pot, um, Goodwill. Uh, this is also Goodwill. It's a puzzle, still sealed. Um, Cobble Hill, this is really nice. But look at that, all of these beautiful Christmas ornaments. Oh, this is such a nice puzzle. Awesome. And it's still sealed. And it has, oh, it's a 1,000 piece puzzle. Okay, that'll keep you busy for a little bit. Um, let's see. That was from the thrift store uh, or from Goodwill. This was also from Goodwill. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe with all the prices that I was showing. Um, this one, yeah, this one I could grab and look at all of those bubbles. Now they do kind of line up, but they're, they're, I don't know. They're a little more scattered than line up, but green, hey, goes with Christmas also. I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, another kind of Christmassy item. Yeah, look at this. Um, now, the underside here did have a little chip. I just did not feel that that was enough to deter me from uh, grabbing this beauty. Again, mid-century modern awesomeness. And that was from Goodwill. Um, I got some fabric. This was from the thrift store. Um, this one says, oh, it said somewhere on here. Where, oh, down here. Ten. There are ten of them in here, and they are, oh, I might have to measure them. I can't quite tell if that's 11 by 11 or 15 by 15. Uh, one of those, but nice, and I think they're all the same. Uh, this one, though, is different. Uh, this one is also from the, um, the thrift store, there's nine pieces, and this one does say 11 by 11, and there's a nice variety in here. So I'll open that up and take a closer look. Uh, this one was also from the thrift store, this really pretty table runner for Christmas with the cutouts and the holly and berries. That is nice. Uh, let's see. These were from Goodwill. Oh, I wish I could have found more of this one. Isn't that fabulous? There's a little fairy with the fruit. It says, though, that this is for decorative purposes only, not safe for food use. But, oh, that is so pretty. And then I grabbed this one. This was also from Goodwill. Look at those beautiful colors for fall. And this one says um, Alice Bavaria on the back. So it actually says Alice Bavaria, but oh, that is so pretty. 
Okay, then there are a couple of items that I got from the thrift store that I kind of saved for last to show. And that is um, Waterford Crystal Ornaments. Um, this one, you can't see the, the manufacturer price. This one says that that sold for $45. And so this says, this is Millennium Angels. Uh, this one is Generosity and this one is Fellowship. The second edition and the third edition. I'll show you that. They come in these beautiful velvet boxes. These are so awesome. And it does say Product of Ireland on the back. And on the inside, it does come with a pouch for you to store it in. And look at that. It's got the sticker on it. It is so beautiful. So Waterford Crystal. And these are angels. There's that one. And then this one. Ooh, that's a tight fit. But look at these beautiful velvet boxes and then a velvet pouch to store it in. And then here is the lovely angel. This one, yeah, this one doesn't have that red cord, but you can always put your own cord on there. But aren't those awesome? Uh, yeah, so, um, so yeah, that was everything that I picked up uh, from Goodwill and from the little thrift store that's kind of in that area. So um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, these items um, will start working their way, um, yeah, kinda, kinda soon <laughs> into my live sales. And we'll see, we'll see what goes from there. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, let's see, well, I will see you later well wednesday you'll be watching this wednesday for the double sale and um, i'll see you tomorrow also bye